All right, what's up everybody? It's Brandon here. Uh, we got some new stuff for the channel uh, going on. Uh, for those of you who don't know it, I haven't done any videos on it. I haven't released it just yet, but I do own a Supra now. Yeah, I ended up going to buy a Supra uh, with my brother, Sick2JZ. Um, I'm just trying to make like a, you know, a, he doesn't like right-hand drives, you know, we're really like doing the whole left-hand drive, right-hand drive battle. Um, if you don't know Sick2JZ, I'll put his link description down below. He's like 77,000 subscribers, something stupid. Uh, he's my brother, he's 1200 horsepower, nice super. Anyways, we're sitting here with, um, uh, this is Andrew, uh, his Supra, and he absolutely loves Supra, the guy lives Supra, and uh, unfortunately, this Supra, as you can tell, uh, had an accident. So. We're here, we're dismantling it, we're taking the parts that we can't get because in South Korea, uh, things are a, a bit harder to get even though we're right there in Japan. Next to Japan, still import issues, you know, shipping, yada, yada, yada. So uh, we have those little little hurdles. Um, so me and Andrew are here, we're taking everything off that we need uh, for my Supra and his new incoming, well, we're not gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna tell you what kind of type of, type of Supra he has yet. We'll do another video on that um, and we'll get that going uh, later when, he, when it comes in. But anyways, uh, here's the Supra. This was an automatic, the original. This is a 94. It was automatic. Uh, he did a manual conversion uh, to a five speed. That's what's in here now. W58, right, Andrew? Oh, he's in there working. I think it's the W58's in there. This is the W58 transmission in here, right? What, what transmission's in here? It's the W58. W58, all right. So that's what's in there now. Um, we're trying to make a, we're trying to do a drug deal where I can get this transmission off him before we actually junk this car. Um, and a little things here and there, because mine's an automatic, uh, which again, you haven't seen yet. So we'll, we'll do that video uh, uh, shortly as well. We'll go out there, take a look at it, and we kind of do a whole, uh, you know, a whole uh, review with the, with the car. Um, but as you can tell, uh, many of you may be crying at this point or screaming at the screen. Um, Andrew was tore up. He's still tore up about it. He's, he's almost crying as we're dismantling this thing piece by piece. <laughs> so uh, I feel bad. You know, we're all car lovers and this stuff happens. Um, but he's got another one on the way, so don't shed too many tears, and we'll do another video on that. So um, this was a 94, like I said, originally it was an automatic. He did the manual conversion on it. Um, it is a NA, there's no turbo in there, um, but uh, his new one, we think, shh, we might have, it's gonna be twin turbo, shh. Anyways, so uh, this is what we're doing right now. The car's jacked up on a battery like normal. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're trying to take as much stuff off as we can. Um, in the car, let's see what she looks like now. Oh my God. <laughs> Some people just screamed at their screen. Anyways, uh, we're taking all this out of here. I'm trying to grab this clock spring off as we speak. Uh, and there was a, like a lot of electronics. He didn't even know it was in the car because there's just Cause so much. Korea. Cause it's Korea, right? Um, so he actually had a, a remote starter alarm system in here. The whole night, <laughs> he had like an old amp set up back here. We just seen those speakers for the first time, which he said were terrible. He had some kind of mini amp in the door, which is, I don't know what this is, MB Court. Maybe you, can, you guys can comment down below and tell me what the heck that is. Um, he has a sweet headliner. Uh, so that's next to come out of here. We're working on that as we speak. Or he's working on that speak. I'm doing videos. And then, um, yeah, we're going to grab this carpet out of here because this, this carpet is sweet. I love the gray. Mine's black. Um, this is really cool. I, I like the gray carpet. Uh, the door, we're trying to get the power folding mirrors off as we, you know, that's what I was doing in my project before you guys interrupted me with the video. And then, um, yeah, just trying to take this part piece by piece. By piece. If you guys want to see something uh, specific as we're taking it apart, maybe like a disassembly video where we've already pulled it off, post that stuff below and then we'll comment. I'll, I'll do the comment, make sure, you know, I'll hit you guys back, you know, in at least 12 hours or so and uh, let you know. Um, we got tomorrow. Hopefully, we might be out here tomorrow picking stuff up and taking it off just in case we don't get it done today, depending on if they're open or not. Yeah, this is a right hand drive, obviously. I forgot to mention that. Um, very cool. A lot of the OEM stuff was in here. And uh, we're slowly dismantling it so we can keep that way. <laughs> He's not crying, but he, he was crying earlier. Shh, shh. Anyway, he's got a new project coming, so we'll do some videos on that. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the back real quick. The back seat all up here, looking sad but intact. Took all the tools. We're taking these uh, the styrofoam pods back here with all the insets because those, those, you know, those are those are cool. You know, those are OEM. You can't really go out and buy them at the store, I guess. We're, we're going to attempt. I'm going to attempt it. He doesn't know it yet, but we're taking these we're taking these coils over off. You don't even know that yet. Look where we are. See him smiling out there. I just start ripping stuff apart. 
Um, and then the side skirts. We're trying to we're gonna try to grab these. Mine are kind of messed up on mine. I want I want these side skirts he has on the here. Uh, see here. And again, nobody scream. But that is uh, not cool, right? So Andrew, how, how'd you get into Supra? Like, like, let me ask you a couple questions, man. How, how'd you get, how did you get this Supra? How did it happen? So, shout out to my boy, Tim Burt. He uh, tagged me in the Facebook uh, post on one of the forums that we follow. And uh, just so happened to be uh, the same day that I uh, refitted him on Facebook. And uh, he tagged me in it. And that, two days from that day, I went down to Daegu, South Korea, and I purchased it without a hesitation. And, yep, we've been in the business since then, and will always be, because it's a badass car. So now you're in the Supers for life, huh? Yeah, well, so, started with my uh, Mark III, 1988, 7M GE, uh, non-turbo, obviously, but the American version, with a boxy style, and so, they're good cars. They really are. I mean, you can pick them up for about 3500 bucks, and you can do a lot with them. But the price difference because the Mark III and the Mark IVs are so damn high and different, it's uh, it's pretty uh, it's pretty up there. So this car in the States would probably run you about 21 to 23 as is. Um, as is this? As is this. Well, oh. well. <laughs> Sorry, man, I had to. No, you gotcha. the, the turbo models are going to run you anywhere from about 55. Yeah. For, and, and, uh, and yeah. You go to Auto Trader right now, and if you find one for less a turbo for less than 40 grand, tag me and let me know because it's probably not real. Mm. But that's how it works. That's how it works. All right. Well, you got something new on the way. When, when do you think? When do you think it's going to be over here? Well, I'm going to give it about a month, a uh, month and a half. Yeah. Um, USA with, with uh, payment, wire payment, right? A little bit. And they gotta ship it, so it's gonna take just a little bit. Right? Oh, so it's right-hand drive. It's coming from Japan. It is. All right, all right. So you guys stay tuned for that. We'll be uh, we'll be back with Andrew, checking out all that stuff and doing some upgrades and looking at everything and trying to make it go vroom vroom, things of that nature. But uh, Andrew, you got a you got an Instagram, you got Facebook and stuff. I do actually. Okay, so we'll we'll tag you in that. So make sure to look for that down there. Uh, make sure you visit his stuff, whatever I post down there, and uh, stick with him. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so here she is. Uh, did you have a name for this car by any chance, Andrew? We can call this like Eleanor. Eleanor. All right. So this is Eleanor. Everybody relate to this in Eleanor. It'll be tagged Eleanor down below, and uh, that's how we'll re refer to this to Eleanor from now on. Um, but yeah, she was gorgeous. Right hand drive. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car. Uh, very sad. So even though I sound upbeat, this is bullshit. But where one dies, another one lives. Another one's going to come up. So that's the only thing we can kind of like take out of that. Um, again, if you guys want to see something specific, hit us up down below. And uh, we'll try to do a video on it and let you know. I mean, we're ripping everything out of here. We've got, you know, your, your rear, rear wiper here. You got, we even got the defrost out of here. Where Andrew's <laughs> he's got the rear quarter panel at the inside out there. Um, I pulled the antenna, you know, the little little remote antenna out of here. Um, I mean, everything. And this car was pretty intact. I mean, almost had everything in here. Uh, so, pulling it out, you know, we're just trying to, you know, keep everything. Uh, he even had the TRD dash in here, which is really, really nice. Um, some kind of like Recaro, because I'm like past the looking Japanese kind of style. This was a driver's, or, yeah, driver's side uh, door panel. Just, you know, very, very clean. But, uh... Anyways, stay tuned, guys. Let me know if you got any questions. Please subscribe. Please hit the bell for notifications down there, please. And uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up. Look at this deep, look at dirty hands. Thumbs up. All right, see you guys. Brandon out. So we're about halfway done with the uh, dismantling or the weight reduction of Eleanor here, the Supra. Um, and. Uh, we decided, hey, why don't we just tow it to my house and we have all the time in the world to be able to dismantle this thing um, and make sure we get all the parts that we really need to get off it before we go ahead and junk it and then crush it. So we're having a tow it over there. Um, 
I uh, made a made a slight drug deal, and so uh, Andrew and Andrew decided we tow it over to my place, and uh, we can slowly take it apart instead of rush and cause issues. So that's what we're doing now. There she goes. So we'll be back at our place, and we'll put it in a, a resting place. All right, be back.